G'day everyone, Ali here and thanks for stopping by today. Well some time ago I made up some pockets to hold my dies in and this is one here and this is a case craft uh, die set. Now I probably made this oh, a good couple of years ago and they hold up really really well and they're really cheap to make and they're fun also. But just recently I've just purchased the embossing diffuser by Sizzix Tim Holtz and they only came in like a flimsy bag and I thought I'm going to make some pockets for this and I made one this morning and it is big enough to actually fit these in so they're dimensional as well so they are one centimetre thickness and they hold these really nice. So I thought I would actually just create another one just to show you how easy it is. I've also got the alterations dimension cutting pad as well which I want to just make a pocket instead of this flimsy one here because you know what I'm pretty organized and everything has its place in the craft room. So what I do is I use these document holders, A4 size, and these were $2.50. I just got them from the cheap shop and I can make heaps out of them. I've also just gone to the local hardware store and bought some duct tape. Now this duct tape was $3 a roll, really cheap, so all up $5.50 my time and I get a heap of uh, pockets in that. So I will link up here in the right hand corner here um, how I actually made um, these pockets but because I want a dimensional pocket I thought I would just go ahead and just make a dimensional pocket. These are nice and clear as well and as you can see you can see through them. So I just put a little label up the top here with what it is and I stack these in drawers so they're all alphabetized by different dyes. So I've got all animal dyes, all background dyes, all flower dyes and so forth. So they're all nice and organized. So I'll just pop that aside. Now this is an A4 size and all I'm going to do is I'm just going to measure so it's roughly about 13, 12 and a half centimetres, but I don't want it really tight. So I'm going to make it a 14 and a half centimetre because I am going to score each side at one centimetre. So I'm going to go and cut this in just one tick. So I'll just mark it. And this plastic is really easy to mark. So I'll just mark that there. Now I'm also going to have, uh, I'm going to create some score lines on this and this is really so easy to score. I will show you in one tick. But while I'm at the guillotine, so I've got a Boston guillotine, I'm just going to mark out one centimetre there. And the height of these is roughly 16 centimetres. So when I cut along here, I'm going to open it out. I'm going to measure out 17 centimetres and on the back will be 16 centimetres. So this will actually allow for the fold score line. So I'll cut that out and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have cut that out. I'll just put a black mat under there so you can see. So I have cut this out using my guillotine. And as you can see, one side is smaller or shorter than the other. So I'm going to open this out and you can see that there's already a score line just there. So I have got a... I don't know what um, brand this is, Sunlit, it's a Sunlit brand uh, and I use this all the time. I did have a stamping up one and 
the score lines are very a little bit funny on it um, I don't like it it's too big this is really good for my desk so I tend to use this one um, quite often now this score blade here it has a bit of a sharper edge but a small ball and this has got the normal score here now if you don't have this brand that is fine if you've got like any scoring that has got like a thinner score on it you don't want to use a blade so you don't want something that uh, thickness you want it something that is going to be a little bit thinner than your normal score now I'm going to score one side with that and one side with this so just so you can actually see the difference with it now I'm going to open this out actually because I find that it scores better when it is single like this so I'm just going to score this side here at one centimeter now these are in inches and I do know that I need to score it at three lines here so I'm just going to use the normal score here so what I normally do is I just score it just a few times okay now it is scored you can't see it all that well but it is scored and you need to put on some decent pressure as well okay so get in there and just score it uh, now it is plastic so it does actually move a little bit but just try your best just to score it so I don't know if you can see that score line there so I'm just going to flip it around and do the other side here just score it again Oops. once I've scored that I'm just going to fold it over and then I'm just going to use the blade just to score that down now I don't want it all the way down I do want a right angle there as well because that will actually help with my dimensional pocket so I'll just do this side here once again just score it just like that okay I'm just going to go get a kitchen knife actually so I'll be back so that's just a kitchen knife I'm not going to use the bladed side serrated side I'm going to use just the back end here so let's just line that up and just score that yeah you know what that is really good so a kitchen knife will actually work heaps better and as you can see I've scored that and it just folds over nicely and it doesn't cut it either so I'll just do this other side here and also the plastic doesn't move as much as if you were using a normal score here so so I'll just score that over yeah that's really good actually so just the back of a kitchen knife works really well now I've scored that I want to get the longer side now of the two flaps so remember this is 17 centimeters and the shorter side is 16 centimeters so I want a centimeter as well on the bottom so I'm going to use my knife again and I'm just going to just choose that yeah that's really good actually the knife works really really well okay so I'll just move all of that 
Now just with a pair of scissors I'm just going to just snip up to that score line there because this will help create the pocket. So as you can see that little flap there is bent in. So I'll do that for the other side here just up to that score line and as you can see it's really really good so okay so that's done I'm just going to pop that aside for a minute and I have got a cutting mat here and this is what I used to create all my pockets from a couple of years ago so and this is what I use for the scoring tape. So I use this for the scoreboard. And I find why I do this is this is really too thick. So um, I do want to be able to see what's in it. So half the width of this is enough to actually do the side bits there as well. So just going to just measure and I want it just down to the four, four inch mark so you can see this is pretty well used I've got some scoreboard on the back here and that enables me to find the middle of the tape so we'll just do this and this sticks really well I cannot believe how easy these are to make and like I said they're just fun to do so I've just got a sharp knife here I'm just going to cut that across just with a metal ruler I'm just going to just cut halfway down so I can see where my halfway mark is um, here I've, I've cut heaps of this um, duct tape in the past so I'll just Cut that, just move that aside, I'll just peel one off, so nice and easy. So I'll just bring back my mat here just so you can see. Now I'm going to just open it all out and I'm just going to just put it so it's on the left hand side of my score mark here. Just stick that down just like so and I'll just cut the excess off here and what I want it to do is I just want the middle part to stick up first then this one here but when I fold it I'm going to have the little part down the bottom here in between each side so just fold that up like so and you can sort of just bend it over up the top here just to line it up to the edge here I'm just going to fold that over. Once I've done that, then I can actually just lift it off and just fold that over. Now I'm not too bothered if there's creases in this. <laughs> so it does the job really well. All right. There you go. So that's one side there and I'm just going to do the other side now so with my other piece here I'll just bring that up do exactly the same because I want a fair bit on the other side where it folds over as well so I'll just stick that down make sure it's a little bit even but you know what if it's not that's okay <laughs> okay just cut that excess off there 
and I'm going to do exactly the same. So that little flap just here, that will go in between each of them. Just manipulate that just a bit. Once again, with this side, I'm just going to just tuck it over. Oops. Now this side's going to be a little bit harder. That's okay, just manipulate it all. start from this end down here. And it sort of fits in to itself just really nicely actually. So you can see up the top here. There you go. And there's my pocket. So here's my Sizzix. And these are really good because I think, you know, like it is displayed really well as well. So I'm just going to pop that in there. And it fits perfectly as well. So I've got my two diffusers now all nice, nicely done. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one here. So this one is, I think it's a square one, this one, so 16 by, yeah, 16. But I'm going to do it at maybe 16 and, or 17 centimetres, so that will give me a little bit of room either side. Now this one I don't want as dimensional because this one's got three diffusers in. So I've made it dimensional just so it actually fits in nicely. So I'm going to do exactly the same with this one here. And what I'm going to do, I don't want that side there. I'll use that for other pockets. So this one here, I'm going to cut uh, a little bit on the outside. So I'm going to cut that at 17 centimetres. So I'll be right back. So this one here is 17 uh, centimetres and what I'm going to do is I'm going to score half a centimetre each side and half a centimetre on the bottom. Before I do though, I've just realised that I need to cut half a centimetre off the top, so I'll be right back. So I've cut my half centimetre because I want the thickness of this about half centimetre roughly. So I'm going to do the same as what I did before and just use the back of the knife and score it because I found that this gave a really good result. So with using the back end of the knife, it doesn't cut the plastic but it does really give a really good score and uh, by folding it over as well, it does a crisp neat edge. Okay, so that's all done. I'm just going to snip. Snip each side. Snip, snip. When you score it with a knife, it's easy to score. It just scores along where you've it just folds where you've actually scored. Bringing back my mat here and I'm going to just see if I, uh, the thickness of the duct tape that I'm gonna cut uh, whether I'm going to change it to cut it down the middle or do it in thirds. So I'll just pop the duct tape down. This is really a nice and easy process. 
because you're using a sharp blade please be careful <laughs> and just with a metal ruler I do decide just to cut it in half I think this will be enough to actually bind both sides of my dimensional pocket together So just sticking that on both sides and duct tape's really good because as you can see I started getting myself in a bit of a bother with it but it does come up really nicely and it sticks really really well as well. going to pop that in there and this will make it a little bit easier as well to fold that over. Just like that. Exactly the same on this side here. Pull that over. And this is really easy just to lift off if you've put it in the wrong spot. there there you have it so really good just to utilize um, that there as well so there you have it there's my dimensional pockets um, all done I do hope that you have enjoyed this and uh, learned something new how to do something for your own storage pockets so that's my pockets done for today and I hope that this has inspired you to create your own storage pockets especially if you have dimensional ones like this if you have found this to be helpful please hit that like button and if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell until next time happy crafting see ya